to get started because I'm trying to get out the way. How hard was it to get started? Because like I'm starting my own business. I'm in the Navy, so I can't just quit and just dedicate my whole everything into the business. But I can tell you now how frustrating it is putting so much time and effort and passion into your stuff and then you don't get no real recognition from it. So how did y'all like, I don't want to say network because I know you got a network, but how did y'all like get your stuff out there to get seen and get the, the customer base that y'all have? So for me, well one thing you want to do, let me ask you a question. Um, so you already have your LLC? Yes. EIN? Yes. Are you trademark? No. Okay, so we need to work on that. You want to go to USPTO.gov and make sure that the name that you are using is available to use. This is a, probably the, the most common and the biggest mistake a lot of entrepreneurs make. And I know there's a lot of entrepreneurs in here, so I want to ask you guys a question. How many of you guys own a business? Just raise your hand. Okay, how many of you guys actually own your trademark? Raise your hand. So we gotta work on that, right? Because that's more important than the LLC. You gotta understand that states do not speak to each other. So you can register in Florida, and then somebody in New York can also register and have your name, and you can't do anything about it. Somebody can start a whole business venture just like you, and you can't do anything about it because you actually do not own it. I say people are actually leasing their name because you have to pay every year to renew it, right? But if you don't own a trademark with the government, you actually don't own your business. So that's the first step that I would say as an entrepreneur, that's where you wanna get started. Once you do that, you wanna invest the time and you also wanna to have to invest the money. Don't go cheap, don't be a cash app person. Oh, you could buy from me with cash app. You wanna get a website and you wanna make sure that you are having a merchant processing, either with Square, Clover, Shopify, whichever. And then you just wanna post. You could be packing an order and recording yourself on time lapse and you can use that as content to post. You could go to the selfie showroom and you know you can take pictures there with your products or whatever you're selling and you can just post it on Instagram, post it on TikTok, post it on YouTube, post it on Facebook. One video can post to all four platforms so that you can be seen and do not worry about likes or comments because people get caught up in, oh, nobody liked it so I'm not gonna post again. Who cares, because guess what? If you post a video, go back the next day and see how many people watched it and then look and see how many people commented and viewed and liked it. Less, but they watching. So you always have to remember, somebody is watching you and you never know who's watching you. You're gonna get picked up by someone. Someone is gonna reach out and wanna collaborate with you because you are being seen. So marketing is something that you have to do consistently every single day. It's like breathing. And don't get frustrated or don't get upset because Business is gonna take time to grow. You're not gonna be a millionaire tomorrow. A lot of social media people, I hate for them to do that, but they make it seem like, oh, you're gonna make a million dollars tomorrow, you start your business. You're gonna get there. But honestly, a million dollars in business is not even a lot of money. When you really get into making the, the money, it's really not a lot. So, and then you gotta pay a lot of taxes too. So you wanna make sure that you structure your business first before you worry about making the money. Because if it's not structured properly, Get a CPA, get with, get with her and you know make sure your credit is good, make sure you're building credit for your business and your personal. Make sure your debt to income ratios are good, make sure you understand your tax returns. Those are very important because when you get to the level that you're gonna grow, and I hope you understand the words I'm using. I don't try, I don't use the word try, I don't use the word can, because the tongue is very powerful, right? And what you speak out is what you're gonna get. So you have to make sure that you have your business set up that when you are growing to the next level, you can go to the bank and say, I need some money. They're not gonna look at you like, decline, right? You're gonna come out with what you asked for because you are structured properly. But it's gonna take time. It's gonna be sleep that's nice. Don't be so fast to quit your job because you're gonna quit at nine to five to work 12 hours or 24. And you're like, damn. You know, like you, you can't be out popping bottles with your friends because you got work to do. So. You know, it's cool, but whatever you can learn in your career right now, take your your um, your employer as your mentor and suck everything. When I tell you everything, pay attention. Don't get frustrated because I understand I've, I've worked there too, but you'll be able to learn from them. So when you start your business, you'll be able to do exactly like your boss or better. And that's how, you know, every day just put in a certain amount of hours. Okay, today I'm gonna put three. Tomorrow I'm gonna put four. And then it just becomes natural to you because whenever you start the business, you wanna pick your passion and not go after a paycheck. 
like you have to be passionate about it so when you wake up you're not frustrated because you don't like it you just want to make some quick money there's nothing quick about it but when you love what you do money comes to you easily abundantly frequently okay